Alex Beer Reviews, back again with some near beer action. Near beer. Woo! Near as in where it comes from, or it's close to beer, or we're all just sober it's fellas. near my hand, and I can grab it, and we're going to review it. That's Done. Why. All right. All right. <laughs> Dan, Mike, what are we drinking? Uh, no, so this is from Sober Carpenter mm. out of Quebec, Canada. Uh, this is our Organic yeah. Session IPA with a twist. This is a non-alcoholic <laughs> craft beer. So, N.A., near beers. Yeah, buddy. Uh, for malts, it's got Pale, Crystal, and Cara. Oh, the best. 30 IBUs and Hops Galaxy. Oh, now what? I'm in. Now I'm in. Uh, so, we're looking at 80 calories for this can. So, yeah. yeah. A, lot, a lot of near beers putting uh, calories on there. Yeah. Contains less than 0.5. I think it's because if you're drinking a non-alcoholic, I assume that they think you're doing it because you're on a diet. Okay. I did that is a, a like a health conscious thing. However, it's weird because if you're on a diet, you probably don't want to be drinking. If if you're gonna drink beer, I would think you'd just want the reward of. I don't know. I'm calling. I don't know. I feel like we're heading down a dark path. Yeah, we're making that. assumptings that we have no basis for. I'm so. just saying, like, there's Mick Ultras of the world, right? Where you right. Get about the same amount of calories, but you get the booze. Yeah. I think a lot of people maybe they drink on A because maybe they they're, they're just dumb with the alcohol effects that you get. Yeah, hangovers, feeling you know kind of sluggish. Uh, you can't drive. You can't. You right. Know. I feel like there, at this point there's a lot of solid offerings 100%. out there for that sort of thing. So uh, I like the look of this. Uh, it looks like super hazy pear juice, it's just floaty. Man, that is. Crap in it. Look at that. Oh, uh, it's. Like just it's in a stasis. suspension. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. I don't know if that's coming through, but man, that is just Yeah. Very bright. It it Very looks bright. like a lemonade. Like a a real a thick, pulpy lemonade. It's on its way to be a Mountain Dew. It's getting there. Get away. There's something there. Okay. A lot of malt. A lot of malt. Uh, so, okay. Sulfur. <laughs> yeah. This is old. Yeah. <laughs> it's I a little old. The 340th day of 2023. It's not a pleasant aroma. It isn't pleasant. But it's beer science. Sure. Th this is for science. Oh, cheers. It does this. Uh, listen, I'm sure maybe when this is fresh, the hops are pretty vibrant. But. It may have been brewed with well water. Oh, Well, it tastes better than it smells. You're no. That tastes like feet. <laughs> whiff one. It's not good. It's old. It's it's, it's, it's old. It's old. It's the oldest. Okay, <laughs> old old IPAs are not good. Yeah. But then you throw on it's NA, so it's already going to be malty as shit. Yeah, we're looking at you, uh, Jaws Arcade. Old IPAs are. Um, <laughs> Come I, at me, bro. We popped this in the freezer. Listen, I can't rate this. I yeah, can't, yeah, I can't, can't. review it. Uh, it it tastes... I don't know. This will just be a fun little quick thing. It, it tastes thing we stale. Like, it has that stale cardboard kind of just nothing. A stale happening. NA beer. Yeah, a stale The most NA appetizing beer. thing that anyone that ever liked beer has <laughs> ever said. Oh, yeah, a stale NA beer. It, yeah, you're right. It tastes like the package that you're freaking... I Amazon need some water crackers with this, please. <laughs> it's awful. You're still drinking it, you <laughs> sick fuck. <laughs> hey, this is for science, man. I I'm going to go back in and do some more experimenting here. Okay. All right, tell me there's, how that's going for there's, you. There's, I'm not doing that to myself. There's like some... Uh, and I'm coming off a cold where I'm probably running on 75% nose and all that. Damn. Damn. Let me tell, let me tell you something about this beer. You would turn a four-minute video about the <laughs> shittiest there, old I NA beer. There are some some galaxy hops in here straining, straining and clinging to any semblance of life they once had. Clawing, scraping. You're right. It does taste like a pineapple that's been sitting outside for about 30 days, getting the rain, the sleet, the snow, everything. Leaves that come on it, they decomposed on it, and then you decide, 
I'm going to go take a bite of it. I feel like someone wanted to make some fruit water, but they used the fake fruit from the bowl to make it. And that's what it turned into. Maybe a little of the wicker from the basket got in there as uh, well. This is enough to make you not want to be a sober carpenter. <laughs> the house is all crooked. <laughs> I mean, you're going right past the beers, straight for the bourbons, and you're going to build a shed. <laughs> I'm getting a lot more flavor out of this water here. So, yeah, uh, we did some science. We learned some things. You can't age non-alcoholic session IPAs. <laughs> Definitely not. Don't try it at home. Uh, Seriously. Down in the description. We gotta go. What's the weirdest thing you've ever aged? Let us know. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>